Okay. My, my name is Calvin um, Getsabetsu. Uh, I'm from Botswana. And uh, the lady next to me is my wife, my lovely wife, and Tebohan. I think for the longest uh, time, we, we've been struggling um, you know, financially in our lives. And um, we ended uh, paid a visit here uh, to really uh, get to say that the men of God pray with us. Um, and also, one of the good things that has happened to us is that he actually confirmed um, what we've been going through in our lives uh, financially. And um, the good thing also is that he also, uh, you know, asked us before we said anything to him where we were coming from. Um, he mentioned our home village, but we stay in Khaboroni. And uh, we were really shocked that uh, God can reveal things like that. Uh, but that also just gives you the courage that indeed, um, you know, you've come to a place of liberty. You've come to a place where God uses a man to reveal the things, the deep secrets that you think uh, were hidden. But um, we thank God for uh, using him um, to minister to our lives. I think uh, as children of God, um, we, we, the best thing that you can do in life uh, is to never miss um, uh, uh, planting a seed financially where you serve. Uh, simply because uh, whether these are tithes or these are seeds or whether this is the support of any minister that you are currently worshipping at, it's very, very important to see that as part of your life. What has happened to us um, in the past was that um, we have been struggling financially so much so that um, we couldn't even, you know, give sometimes. You have the passion to really support the ministry, to be a financier in the church. But the devil strikes um, where he knows that, uh, you know, if he cripples your finances, he will not be able to serve uh, that way. Um, but the good thing is that um, after he spoke to us, we really got the assurance that indeed God is with us and that we should not give up and know that uh, God has restored us. The, ex the experience is very wow. It's wonderful. Indeed, we are blessed. We can see that he is... Indeed, the mouthpiece of God. God is working miraculously in his life. We are blessed. It affected me so negatively, so bad, because as a child of God, like he said, you have to pay tithes. That's what God says in the book of Malachi 3.10. If you don't pay tithes, the, 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 the parasites will come. They will consume whatever that is yours. There is no covering without tithes. That's what God has asked us to do. Just that little 10% of what he has given unto us. And we've been failing a lot. And it has really affected us financially. And then when it affects us financially, you know, when others are giving and you can see the need in the ministry, it has. Amen. Lift up your hands. In Jesus' name. Take it, in the name of Jesus Christ, take it. Leave it. You dim. The whole body is fire. Fire the whole body. 
Ivena. Leave it. Ah, leave it. Leave it. Leave my sister. Come. I'm relieved. Very relieved. I know my breakthrough has come. Mm. Yeah. I can feel, I, I felt that, uh, that the light, I could feel I was light. Something was just going. I was like, you know, where there's a whirlwind, the whirlwind, like it is, goes like this. Yes, that's how I felt. Mm. All, all I can say to the viewers is our God is faithful. He's just, just don't listen to the rumors. Just come and experience the power of God. God is moving mightily in this place. And this man, He's not just doing it himself. Even before he ministered unto us, he said he will allow God to use him. He will say what God has laid in his heart. He didn't say his mind, but he shared the mind of God. All right, thanks. Um, I think two things uh, to share with the viewers at home. Uh, number one, I think uh, the best place where God wants us to be is in the battlefield. When you face uh, trials and tribulations in life, um, sometimes you feel God is not with you. But the reality is that God exposes to redeem. Um, you know, God will show you the root cause of why you have to go through certain things. Um, you know, there are many good examples in the Bible that I can talk about. But just one example of, uh, you know, Joseph, how he really suffered in his life. And at the end, God allowed that he is the one who is going to be the right hand of the king. Um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, God, God is there for us, that they should not give up on their dreams. Um, they should not allow people's perceptions about God change the way they live. What they should have is faith in God. And uh, especially in the prophetic ministry, people will say so many things. Um, but, you know, if you connect with a certain man of God, just understand that it, this is a gift that God has brought over and above the gift of life that God gave us. It's important for you as a child of God to know um, what the future holds. And if he reveals it to his prophets, we are benefiting as children of God. I think number two, it's just to say that, you know, um, God loves us all. And um, when God loves you, he shows it to you in many ways. Just don't give up in life and have faith in God to have your life turn around.